Well, hello guys and welcome to Mr. Web Reviews. And today we're going to look into how to add size charts in WooCommerce so that your visitors will be able to select the right size for them. So this method is very efficient because it allows to easily display all the different options available, which in turn will lead to more sales and higher conversion as well. So not only will you help your visitors to select the right size, but you will also greatly reduce the amount of returns and refunds because if your visitors select the right size, they won't have to return it. So it's a complete win-win situation here. So let's wait no further and let's dive right into it. Okay guys, so today we're going to review and explore the Yeast product size chart for WooCommerce. So it's available on the yithemes.com website. And as always, I'll leave a link in the description below. So what is the purpose of this plugin? Well, basically, as it says here, is to help your customers to choose the right size by adding an effective size chart uh, table in your product page. So basically, like you can see here from the picture, so you could have the different sizes, so small, medium, large, and extra large. But then you can have extra additional information to help your visitors choose the right size. So you can have bust, waist, hips, and then the sizes in inches or centimeters, whichever uh, you prefer. And as we can see here uh, from the benefits, uh, this will boost your sales of products uh, for which customers must select the size, offering them a tool to make a safe purchase and solve any doubts. So clearly this is going to clear any doubts whatsoever they may have. So uh, very often uh, when you say small, medium, large, uh, it doesn't say really anything uh, concrete and tangible. Whereas here you can see immediately what are the sizes and you can measure up on your uh, on yourself and see uh, what what is what like you know so you'll be able to limit the returns and refunds of products not matching users needs so obviously uh, someone might think might think they're a, a size m when they're really actually maybe an s or an l so uh, with this you can help them to find out the exact proper size that uh, uh, that fits them now it doesn't have to be all about sizes as you can see here it could be about uh, nutrition nutritional facts as well now you could uh, display calories uh, fat sodium uh, carbohydrate etc and maybe the percentage daily values as well here this uh, is bringing you so altogether a very nice and compact uh, plugin and very flexible as well so the cost of this plugin is 49.99 and as you can see here, it has excellent uh, reviews and uh, rating. So 4,595 customers. So that's that's a lot, to be honest, you know, uh, with a rating of 4.5 out of 5, which is a 97% customer satisfaction in support. So all in very good indeed. So let's go ahead and see how this performs, how you can configure this on a WordPress installation and what are the different features. So welcome to our WordPress dashboard. So from here, we'll be able to change our different settings for our plugin here. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the size chart. So let's click on this here, size charts. And then let me show you how it's done. It's very simply laid out, you know, very simple to change. So basically we have our different columns here and then you can just fill out your details in here. So let's say you wanted to change the bus size, so 31 to 32, it could be in inches, but you can also add maybe centimeters. So let's say uh, 58 to 60 centimeters. And this way we'll have both sizes uh, mentioned. So let's save this for now, just quickly to, to show you what it looks like. So if you go on a front end, there are different ways of displaying this uh, chart. So you can have a product tab, if we click on this one so this is a product page if we scroll down this is our chart here so it will be part of the same page basically in the description uh, section here so you have the size description additional information and reviews and one of those that will contain uh, the sizes or sorry let's go back to our home page or it could be as a pop-up so basically you're on that page so we don't have any details anymore here at the bottom. So what we need to do is if we're interested, we click on dress size chart and it will show up as a pop-up. So as you can see, we have our 58 by 60 centimeters. That's the changes we've made. And if you do that, all of them, uh, 
basically uh, your visitors will be able to select the exact proper size for them and then we have size chart on product tabs so let's have a look at this one so again here just at the bottom very easy to spot and as you can see it works for everything you know it's not just size it could be a bed sheets and all that as well bed spreads and again here as a pop-up window so basically now let me show you back to this one so dress size chart we also have another an additional tab here how to measure so shoulder width uh, bust waist and hip hips sorry that's basically this text here you know so if i was to change here and i'm going to put a, a test here and then save and hopefully this is the right one for this item yes as you can see now we have the text here that's been changed reflecting these changes here so this is basically it so you can put any additional information you wish here basically to help your visitors make the right choice so back to our product page here if you wanted to add or remove or change anything it's very simple uh, let's add an extra one let's click the plus and you might have a double excel maybe uh, which would be i don't know let's say 52 to 60 and then uh, 60 to 64 is just to show you here how it works so we have double excel and maybe triple excel and let's go with 68 to 70 this one uh, 70 to 72 and maybe 72 to 74 and then if we update and we go back to our product page and we click on this as you can see we have double excel triple excel now so this is basically how easy it is to configure very simple indeed so let's see what's the what the difference are between those uh, different settings here so display as a tabbed pop-up so select how you select how you want to display the chosen product size chart so we have tab pop-up so let's go with pop-up now just pop-up update and let's refresh click on this so as you can see now we have uh, how to measure and the chart together on the same uh, in the same pop-up window and then we can have as a tab and the tab position I'm going to put one just to be the first and let's update let's refresh now as you can see we don't have that button anymore because we have to scroll down and we have this in first position here right there immediately so you have the how to measure and the size is right here so this is uh, how you can change and uh, customize your product page now you can change the tab title as well because here at the moment we have dress size chart but if you want it to be something else uh, choose the right size and then update and then we can refresh and as you can see now the tab uh, the title is choose the right size so very simple indeed isn't it now let me show you from the start if you wanted to add a, a new size chart so you could click on this or this one here so both of them uh, they're both the same anyways so this will be a test chart and then some content here to help choose the right size as you've seen and then this is how we get started so we start with uh, basically a column so we have just the one column but if you wanted more so you get add plus and then plus so as you can see we have one two three different columns now and you might maybe need an extra one so you could have uh, small and then size 25 to 26 and then 26 to 27 27 to 28 and then if you want to add a row you click on this one then add a row add a row small medium large and then you simply publish it and then you put the shortcode 
in your product page. So I'm going to show you how to do this now. So let's say if we were to save this, let me quickly uh, put some details here everywhere. So 26, 25, control C, control V, control V. Let me paste this everywhere. And we're going to use this as a, as a pop-up like this, simple. Update, publish. So now that we have our test chart saved and updated, now you can see we have a short code here, but I'm going to show you how to place this test chart and link it to a product page now. So we head to our product page, all products. And let's say we have a Diet Coke here. And then what we do now is very simply we scroll to the bottom and as you can see at the moment is nutrition facts attached to it link to that one and instead if you click on this now you can select and in the drop down menu select test chart which is our test chart and then you update the product and let's go back to our demo page and let's open this product page so the cork and as you can see we now have test chart and if you click on this, this is the chart that we just created. So this is how easy it is to actually use this plugin. Very simple and streamlined indeed. So let me show you all the different settings available for this plugin. So if we go into ETH here in the menu bar and then click on product size charts. So these are all the settings that apply to our demo here, our review. So we have different styles of uh, pop-up. So you can select between... Uh, default informal elegant and casual so let's go back to our demo here and as you can see we have default elegant informal and casual so let's click on the default that's what the default looks like elegant slightly different you can see the edges are neater and all that the informal we have a frame now uh, all around it it's a bit rounded as well and then we have casual as you can see it's a different color now all together so this is for that and then we can select our main color so let's go ahead and change this i'm going to select a red so we're not going to miss that and then i can save and just to show you what the difference is so if we go back to our bottle of coke here test chart as you can see this is the red now we have so that's the one. Uh, which position do you want it to be? Uh, uh, center, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, top center, bottom center. Let's go with bottom center. And which effect do you want to apply? So let me show you here again. So you can fade, slide, zoom in, zoom out. So fade, it looks like this. Slide, so we'll slide from top to bottom. Zoom in, that's what it does, it's zooming in and zoom out that's the other way around so that's it so these are basically our effects so let's go and slide and the overlay color uh, so select the color you want to apply to your pop-up overlay so i believe this is the overlay that's in the uh, shadow area here so let's go with the red one again but a dark red maybe uh, maybe maybe on this this shade and the overlay opacity basically is the transparency. So one is opaque, completely opaque. And point eight is you can see through a little bit like you can see here. You can see the background image behind, uh, behind. So that's basically. So let's just click on this for now. Show you what's the difference. So if we now refresh our page. I'll go back to our Coke. And click test chart. As you can see, our background image uh, color is now red, brownish, which is the one we selected here. We said we wanted to place this at the bottom center, which it is now at the bottom center right here. And as you can see, our button is red, so which is this color. So that basically you can configure any colors to match your logo colors, your company colors, and uh, uh, streamline all uh, together to keep your branding in line with everything. And then we can configure our pop-up button options here, uh, which is this one here, basically this button here. So what do you want to do with it? Where do you want to position it? After the card. So this is what we have. We have button, the card button, then the test uh, button here. And then it could be before the summary, before the description, after the description, or after the summary. So let's go after description now. And let's save this. And if we refresh, 
you can see that it's now here on top and then add to cart after and then you can change the colors the button text the border radius so at the moment you can see it's a bit rounded up but it could be uh, even more rounded so let's say let's put it 15 and then save again and if we refresh as you can see it's a more rounded button now and if you want it to match this one here we can increase it even more maybe let's do it at 25 or even 30 save refresh and there you go this button matches this one now you see so that's how easy it is isn't it and then we have our table options here so we can apply different styles so we have default informal elegant and casual so let's keep default for now and we have our main color here you can see it's a gray uh, uh, color and if we uh, refresh our page here test chart as you can see this is this color here the background color here in gray so let's go and change this and let's make it maybe a bright red like this and then if we refresh now and test chart and as you can see our table now has a red background and then we have our advanced display settings so here you can set up uh, rules basically for all your different uh, categories and type of products, etc. So charts for all products. So select the product size chart you want to display in all products. So if you only have one size chart for all your products, it's very simple. All you do is click on this and select it. And that's it. This will be applied to all your product uh, across your whole e-commerce platform in here. And you can do the same with category options. And then all you have to do is basically save. And once you've saved, you're good to go. And then let me show you our last tab here is the license activation. So when you've completed your purchase online on the yithemes.com website, uh, you'll be provided with a license key. And then you put in your email address, your license key activated. And then that's it. Your license will be activated on your website and you'll be able to use this plugin. So there you go guys, as you can see this plugin is super easy to use and for the cost of only 49.99 in euros, it's a fantastic addition to your WooCommerce website, which will save you and your customers a lot of hassles indeed. So as always, I'll leave a link in the description below. So that's all for now guys, I hope you found this helpful. If so, please consider subscribing to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you won't miss a single update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.